Coming up next, radioactive. Then at 10.30, Breaker High. your eyes. This is not a pretty sight. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Who would willingly destroy a Kenny GCD? Someone good taste in music. <laughs> Manhandled. <laughs> Ke Kevin, put that back exactly where you found it and don't touch anything else. This is a crime scene, everyone. Stay right where you are. I've seen enough. <laughs> All right. I want you to listen to me. And I want you to listen carefully. A crime has been committed in this room. An ugly, brutish crime. I don't know why it was done, and I don't know how, but I do know this. One of you is the murderer! <laughs> Mangler. Now, that CD was school property. Also, it was one of Kenny's finest albums. Second only to his legendary collaboration with Trent Reznor. But uh, I digress. What I want you to understand is this. I want the fiendish madman. Or mad woman. Or the mad woman responsible for this crime to come forward so they can be brought to justice. At all, Justice. Ouch. 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 If no one admits to the crime, you will all be suspended. <laughs> all right, who did this? Well, I think we know who did this. Shut up, a lot we of know you! We know. Now, look here, everybody. One of you punks did this, and I'm not taking the rap for it, see? <laughs> now, I'm going to get to the bottom of this if it's the last thing I do. So as of now, I'm in charge of the investigation, you got me? You? Why you? Because I'm the only one who wasn't here yesterday, which means I'm the only one with an airtight alibi. But the rest of you were here yesterday, which means any one of you could have done this. The question is, which one of you did? It was a doozy of a case, a real brain twister, a humdinger. Heck, it was more than a humdinger, it was two humdingers. What the heck's a humdinger anyway? All I knew for sure was I had one victim, four suspects, and no leads. Plus, I had a bag of gummy bears, but that wasn't enough. It was time to get some answers. Hi, Morgan. Skip the pleasantries, honey, sit down. <laughs> So, how did you convince Mr. Noseworthy to lend you his office? It was easy. I let him borrow Sarah's skateboard. <laughs> no! <laughs> nah, he'll be busy for a while. So, tell me, Tanya, what do you think about the Kenny G incident? Oh, well, I think it's horrible. I think whoever did that to the poor CD should be punished. You Tanya, know, I... does the name Stuart McKellum mean anything to you? <laughs> Stuart McKellum? Oh, don't play dumb with me, honey. I happen to know that you were going out with Stuart McCallum. How did you know that? I can't tell you that. Let's just say I have a way of finding things out. <laughs> we went on a double date last Friday, remember? Oh, 
<laughs> well, so what if I did go out with Stuart McKellen? Is that a crime? No, but things weren't all peaches and cream with old Stu, now were they? Peaches and cream? Things weren't what you might call hunky-dory, huh? Hunky who? Things weren't going well. Oh. Nope, everything was fine with being mean, Stuart. Oh, really, Tanya? That's not the way I remember it. I... I don't know what you're talking about. No, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about, Missy. I'm talking about how you were crazy about Stuart McKellum. About how you couldn't think about anybody else. But then one day it all went wrong. Stuart became a little more distant. Got that far away look in his eye. Huh? At first, you thought he was cheating on you, didn't you, Tanya? But then you found out the truth. It wasn't another woman. Stuart McKellum was in fact obsessed with... Kenny G. Oh, I admit it, I lost my boyfriend to Kenny G. And yes, I hate him, I despise him. But that doesn't make me a mangler. <laughs> I didn't do it, I swear I didn't do it. I may have wanted to do it, but I didn't do it. You gotta believe me. Ah, spare me the theatrics, kid. <laughs> now I want you to tell me everything that you did yesterday afternoon, and you'd better not leave out a thing. Yes, I understand. I'll tell you everything. I just, I just finished the show. It was an hour spotlight on Oasis, which I'd called an hour spotlight on Oasis. <laughs> anyway, after I left the booth, I was. babies. I know you are, but what am I? Hmm, very interesting. All right, Tanya, let's continue. What about the CD itself? Did you see it? Well, as a matter of fact, I did. I wanted to put on some eyeliner and I needed a mirror, so... <laughs> And that's the only time you saw the CD? Yes, yes, I swear. I put it back on the desk and I never saw it again until Miss Atal found it this morning. All right, you're free to go. But don't leave the school. <laughs> you won't. All right, one more thing, Tanya. That eyeliner, what color was it? Black. Why? Can I borrow it? <laughs> <laughs> time, St. John. Are you sure there isn't something you want to tell me about Kenny G? Something that happened on the air, maybe? Hmm? Last Friday, maybe? At exactly 4, 10 p.m.? You... All right, already, I'll tell you. I was watching the Friday edition of the mutated mental metal hour with Ethan St. John, and I can't bear to tell you. It was, it was too horrible. You accidentally played a tune from the Kenny G CD. Yes! Yes, I did! How was I supposed to know the Kenny G CD had been accidentally placed in a Megadeth case. <laughs> so instead of the tortured sounds of Megadeth, you played the soothing tones of Kenny G. <laughs> oh, you must have been embarrassed. Are you kidding? I felt like a total dork. You know how long I've been building a reputation as a metalhead? I was actually making some progress, too. You know the cute chick Lucy Marpoli? Yeah, I think she was buying it. <laughs> anyway, it's all been a race now, thanks to... Kenny G! <laughs> Not that I would destroy his CD or anything. <laughs> All right, Ethan. Why don't you give me your account of what happened yesterday? Did you actually see the CD? Yeah, I saw it, sure. I remember it perfectly. Kevin was bugging me. Uh, give me, give me, uh, give me. Kevin, I'm afraid I can't give you the pen at this moment as I am using it. I don't care. I want the pen. Now. Give me the pen. You guys are such babies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perhaps I misunderstood you. Did you say babies? <laughs> or babes? <laughs> Kevin, as I was saying, you'll have to be more patient because I'm currently using the pen. 
Do you understand? Yes, Ethan, you're always right, arms. Sorry. That's better. Wait, use a coaster, you uncivilized oaf! <laughs> ah, ow, ow. And that was the last you saw of it. Yep. All right, you're free to go. For now. <laughs> This case was starting to get to me. I'd interviewed two suspects, and all I had to show for it were more pieces to the jigsaw puzzle. The problem was, the pieces weren't fitting together. And the other problem was, I hated jigsaw puzzles. I had two more suspects left to question, and all I knew for sure was that if I didn't solve this case by the end of tomorrow, we'd all be looking at one big, fat suspension.